Hi, I'm Jack Canfield, and today I'd like to teach you how to create an abundance mindset that will effortlessly help you attract more wealth and more abundance into your life. You know, most people have a complicated relationship with money. If you feel a stab of dread when you see bills or credit card statements arrive in your mailbox, you know what I mean. Most of us have been there. It's fun to spend money, but it's not so fun to discover you're spending more money than you make. So ask yourself, if you were a business, would you be broke by now? Of course, life isn't cheap. We all know that, especially when you have a family. Everything adds up so very fast. If you're not paying attention to how much you spend every month, you may quickly find yourself in debt. And one of the worst things about debt is the stress it puts on you. It robs you of your peace of mind and reduces your overall quality of life. But it doesn't need to be this way. No matter what your current financial situation is, you can develop a money magnet mindset that will empower you to get out of debt and create a healthy financial future for yourself and your family. So today I'm going to share with you four powerful strategies to help you do just that. Now my first money magnet tip is to become aware of your negative and limiting beliefs about money and replace them with new beliefs. One of the most effective ways to do this is to reprogram the subconscious mind with affirmations. Now affirmations are simply positive statements that you repeat over and over to yourself on a daily basis for at least 30 days until they are installed permanently into the subconscious. Now here are some examples of negative and limiting money beliefs. Money doesn't grow on trees. There's not enough money to go around. You have to have money to make money. You can't get rich during a recession. Money is the root of all evil. Money can't buy happiness. I can't make a lot of money doing what I love to do. You have to work too hard to make money. People will resent me if I have a lot of money. No matter what I do, I'm always in debt. So what are the affirmations that are the opposite of these beliefs? Think about these. I live in an abundant universe and money always comes to me easily and effortlessly. There is always enough money for everything I need and want. I am always finding new ways to make more money. I keep getting wealthier no matter what the economy is doing. Money is the root of all good things. The more money I have, the happier I become. The more I do what I love, the more money flows into my life. I am a magnet for success and good fortune. The more money I have, the more good I can do in the world. No matter what I do, money keeps pouring into my life. I rejoice in the success of others and they rejoice in mine. Every day in every way my wealth is increasing. Whenever I spend or give away money it comes back to me multiplied. I love money and money loves me. I am a powerful money magnet. So I encourage you to watch this again and write those down and then repeat them every day for 30 days. Now here's my second tip for becoming a money magnet. Practice gratitude for what you already have. Most people spend most of their time focusing on, talking about, and obsessing over what they don't have rather than focusing on, celebrating, and expressing gratitude for what they do have. And the result of that is it puts you into a state of consciousness of lack. Focusing on and complaining about what you don't have puts you into a lower state of vibration, which results in continuing to attract the same lack of abundance that you're complaining about. So by focusing on what you do have and consciously being grateful for it, you put yourself into a higher vibration and you end up attracting more things to be grateful for. This is how the law of attraction works. So to put this into practice, I recommend two practices. First, take a few minutes every morning to simply write down what you're grateful for. There's so many things to be grateful for. Your house, your apartment, your friends and family, your car, your motorcycle, your bicycle, the public transportation system, the clean water that comes out of your faucet. Did you know there are millions of people in the world who have to walk more than an hour to get to a source of water, and often it's not even the cleanest of water? You know, be grateful for your refrigerator, electricity and electric lights, your television, your cell phone, your computer, the internet, the fact that we have Wikipedia, Uber, Lyft, Airbnb, credit cards, sunrises and sunsets, the smell of a rose, the fact that you have a sense of smell at all, and so on. Life really is quite miraculous. So appreciate it. Now the other practice is to express real heartfelt appreciation to at least five people a day. Your partner if you're in a relationship, your children, 
one of your parents, a neighbor, your coworkers, your employees, the bus driver, the person at the grocery store checkout counter, your waiter or waitress, the UPS driver, even the TSA worker at the airport, the street musician, the barista who makes your coffee, your clients and customers. How about the kid who cuts your grass, your babysitter, your housekeeper, and so on. I'm talking about really stopping for a minute, looking them in the eye, and sharing something deeper than a simple thank you. Letting them know what exactly it is that you appreciate. For example, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you for getting up every morning at what must be 5 a.m. to be here, to open your coffee shop and do all the things that you have to do to get ready so I can get here at 7 a.m. and get a great cup of coffee. And for the time you've invested in learning how to pull a way above average shot of espresso. And if you can't do it in person, send a note, a card, a letter, or an email with the same level of appreciation. Now my third tip to become a money magnet also has two parts. The first is to always carry a $100 bill or its equivalent wherever you live, like euros in Europe, in your pocket, your wallet, or your purse. Now this way you can never say, I don't have any money. Secondly, every time you take money out of your pocket or you go into your wallet or your purse, you'll see that $100 bill and you'll think, I am abundant. You are never broke. You always know that in an emergency, you can always afford to buy a meal or take a taxi home. And if you do ever spend it, immediately replace it. Now, as simple as this seems, it has a huge psychological effect on your abundance mindset. The second part of this tip is to write yourself a check for the amount of money you would like to earn every year and carry it with you as well. Now, you can download one from the internet, print out the blank check for this purpose, and then fill in whatever amount you want. It could be for $100,000 or a million dollars, or in the case of Jim Carrey, he wrote himself a check for $10 million. Now, I'm sure you know Jim Carrey. He's a famous actor in Hollywood, but that wasn't always the case. Before he became well-known, he was broke and struggling to make ends meet. He loved acting and he was determined to make money from it. So on the check he wrote to himself, he wrote the exact amount of money he wanted to make, $10 million, and then he wrote that it was for acting services rendered. He didn't write a date on that check, but he fully believed that he'd get the money. Later, when his father died, he decided to put the check in the urn that contained his father's ashes. And he kept on believing. And several years later, just before Thanksgiving in 1995, he was offered $10 million to play a lead role in the movie Dumb and Dumber. That's how it worked. You've probably heard me tell a similar story in the movie and the book, The Secret, about how I first manifested a $100,000 income and later a million dollar royalty check for the first Chicken Soup for the Soul book. Now here's my fourth tip for becoming a money magnet. Spend time hanging out with people who have more money than you. And also spend time hanging out in places that represent wealth and abundance. Let's look at each of these things in more depth. First. Hanging out with people who are wealthier or who make more money than you do. You may remember that I teach you are the average of the 10 people you spend the most time with. Now, when you spend time with people who are living in abundance, over time, their thought processes, their beliefs, their habits, and their behaviors will rub off on you. You learn about wealth just by being in their presence. John Asaraf, who was one of the featured teachers in the movie The Secret, came from very humble beginnings. He did not go to college but he also became a very successful multimillionaire. Now he told me that it all started when he landed a job in a gym at the Jewish Community Center across the street from his apartment in Montreal. In addition to earning $1.65 an hour, he received access to the men's health club. And John said that he got his early education in business in the men's sauna. Every night after work, he would sit in the steamy hot room listening to successful businessmen tell their tales of success and failure, all the while learning important business principles. Every night, he was in the presence of men from all walks of life who had become successful and freely shared their wisdom and experience with them. Now, in addition to hanging out with successful people, place yourself in the places and conditions that successful people hang out in. Program your unconscious for success by going to the showrooms of expensive cars and sitting in those cars, even test driving them. Mercedes, Lexus, Tesla, BMW, Porsche. Have the salesperson take a picture with your cell phone of you sitting in the car, looking out through the passenger window or standing next to the car and tell him or her that you'll be back to buy that car soon. Go sit in the lobby bar at the Ritz Carlton or a Four Season Hotel. Go look at expensive jewelry or watches at a jewelry store. Try on a Rolex, a Cartier, a Tag Heuer, Petit Philippe or Breitling watch. 
go to open houses of the most expensive homes for sale in your community or to a neighboring community. Take your time looking around and imagining living there. Go to your local boutique clothing stores and try on some expensive clothes. Get used to how you look in them. So now here's your homework to complete after watching this video. First, go to your bank and get a $100 bill and start carrying it around with you at all times. Remember not to spend it unless there's an emergency. Then you immediately replace it. Second, write yourself a check for the amount of money you would like to make next year or for some project you're working on. And make sure to write what it is for on the memo line on the check. Third, write down one thing you'll do in the next seven days to hang out with someone making more money than you or to go somewhere like an expensive hotel or a luxury car dealer to give yourself an experience of more luxury and more abundance. Now go ahead and write one of those things that you'll do in the comments section below. Because when you make a public declaration of what you're going to do, it moves you one step closer to actually doing it. So thanks for watching. And remember, nothing in your life will change for the better until you do. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like it, share it with a friend who may need it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And for some additional resources on creating a wealth and abundance mindset, visit my website at jackcanfield.com. Thanks again for watching.